Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching the book dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you 10 romance book recommendations. Usually I don't read many romance books. So the books which I tend to read inside the genre are very picky. And also of these 10 books, only 9 are specifically romances and the other one is a fantasy. I'm recommending that in specific because I like the romance inside that book very much because it just feels a bit organic and it does not feel like it's forced at all in any way. And also I've got different kinds of romances inside this list. There are cute romances, there are steamy romances and there are also some soulful romances. So if you don't like any one of these types, you'll have other options to choose from also. So without any further ado, let's get into the books right away. The first book which I want to recommend is an adult contemporary romance and this is a book which I read in the September of 2021. So it's not been even 3 to 4 months since I finished reading it. But I've been recommending it continuously in my channel during each and every chance that I get. And it is Beach Read by Emily Henry. In this one we follow our two main characters, January and Augustus, both of whom are writers. January is a romance writer and Augustus is a literary fiction writer and both of them are dealing with writer blocks right now because of the various things that are happening inside their lives. Due to this what happens is January ends up going to a beach house that was owned by her father and she stays there and the neighbor of the beach house turns to be Augustus who was kind of a rival for her in college. When they meet each other and get to know that both of them are dealing with writer blocks, they decide to write a book in the other person's genre and they take up advice from the other person also during various sessions and from that something sparks and the romance ensues. This book if you ask me is a complete package when it comes to the romance. I said three different kinds of romances like cute, steamy and soulful right. All of those are actually packed in this book and I'm sure that if you're a fan of the romance genre this will be a great pick for you. But I'd not recommend you to read this during February because this is more of a summer read. So if you're reading this during the summertime it will be even more suitable. The next one is a young adult contemporary romance and it is By Your Side by Casey West. This was a book which I just picked up on a whim and started to listen as an audiobook but towards the end I ended up loving it because it was really well written and the character work that was done by the author in this one was also really really awesome. Here we deal with our two main characters who are stuck up in a library during a weekend and they cannot get out of the library because the next three days are holidays so they end up being together in the library all alone and there is no other company so they just start talking with each other and develop a friendship but after those three days they get outside and many things start happening in their lives. The backstories of both these characters and the things that they are being through right now in their young adulthood is really really nice to read about because they are so different characters and their lives that they are living are completely different and uh, the way in which both of these collide together and are understood by the other characters. Our female main character in this one has panic attacks and anxiety attacks as a huge issue in her life whereas the male main character has very bad parental issues but when they start discovering these things about each other they start falling for the other person and it is really really nice. The next book is a very recent read of mine and it is I Love You So Mochi by Sarah Kuhn. I just read this in January and here we follow our main character Kimi who is 17 years old and she is in the final year of her high school. She has this plan to get into an art school and become an artist because her mother is an artist and she is also really good in painting herself. Just two months before the end of her school she realizes that she is not that much passionate about painting even though she is really good at it. She is even more passionate about fashion and when she tries to bring this up in a conversation with her mother, her mother does not end up understanding her. And during the same time, Kimi ends up getting a ticket from her grandparents who are living in this small village called Kyoto in Japan in order to spend her spring break with them and Kimi decides to go there. While she is in Japan, she meets this boy named Akira who is to get into medical school and become a doctor. She is just overwhelmed with the fact that everyone who is surrounding her has this clear vision of what they are going to do after high school but she doesn't and she is in this constant state of dilemma whether she wants to do art or fashion. And she doesn't even realize that she is that much passionate about fashion until the other main character brings it up. It is a coming of age story at the same time a very cute romance. If you are in high school or college please do give this a try I am sure that you will love it. The next one is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is another adult contemporary romance and the main main character in this one is the brother of the groom and the female main character is the sister of the bride. The book actually starts in a wedding and what happens during the wedding is that everyone except these two main characters end up having food poisoning and because of this the bride and groom are not able to go on their honeymoon and it is also not refundable. They don't want to waste the money so they just end up making the bride's sister and the groom's brother go together on the honeymoon and have a good time there. The best part about this book if you ask me is that the two main characters do not like each other at all in any way. While they are on that un-honeymoon they start learning a lot about each other and their past and the reasons why they did not like each other from the childhood it's just due to a string of misunderstandings. So when they get to know this they understand each other better and romance ensues. I'll not say that the story is something which is new. It is very conventional but the way in which the authors narrate the story is very entertaining and fun filled. So if you are looking for something like that please do give this a try. The next one is yet another YA contemporary and it is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. 
I've recommended this book many times in the channel already and the reason why I'm recommending this now is because it is a book which is very very light on its tone. There are good things as well as bad things that are happening inside the book but the way in which it flows and does not stagnate at any point is the thing which I like about the book very much. Here we follow our main character Penny who was in a very bad car accident along with her parents but luckily no one got injured but Penny is suffering from PTSD because of that accident right now. Both of her parents are wedding planners and what happens during a particular time is that they get this opportunity to arrange a wedding in New York and they end up taking Penny along with them since they cannot leave her alone. During her time in New York along with her parents she meets this guy and that's the small chunk of romance which we see. Now this book in its entirety is not a romance but the small chunk of the story which deals with the romance is very soft and fluffy to read so that's the reason why I am recommending this. Next one is another young girl contemporary and it is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. There are completely four volumes that are out until now as physical books that is as graphic novels but you can read the entire series for free in the webtoon app. That is where I read this and uh, trust me if you are going to read only one book or one series from this entire list let it be this one because you need not spend money for this that's the first reason and the second reason is that this has each and everything that a romance series actually needs. In its core essence it's a romance series but apart from that the various aspects of the series are completely awesome okay. Now if you are a person who likes sex education on Netflix I am sure that you will love this series because it is just like sex education but without the sex. Here we follow our two main characters Nick and Charlie who are very different from each other and they are studying in the same school. There are many things which happen and slowly a romance builds between them and the story just moves on from that. It is very very beautiful. I am not just recommending this for the romance but for the other aspects of it also. Mainly it has awesome friendships and really good family dynamics and there are also some dogs inside the story and if you don't want to read a book with dogs in it I don't know what you are doing. I I actually did not have a plan to read this this year. I wanted to buy the graphic novels and then read them but I was not in a mood to read any physical book or listen to any audio book also so I just wanted to read something very light in tone. I went forward and started this and trust me I just finished it in like 4 days or so. It has nearly 200 episodes until now and you can just read them all for free without even signing inside the app. I did not know that this existed and uh, when I found it out I just chatted with as many people as I can and that's the main reason I'm including it inside this list. You can just read it for free and trust me it will have everything that romance needs and especially if you are in high school or college I'm sure that you will completely enjoy this. The next one is To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is actually the first book in the Lara Jean trilogy and if you end up liking this you can read the other two books also. I'd highly suggest you to try all the three books and binge them continuously because this is such a fun and lush series to read. Here we follow our main character Lara Jean who's 16 years old now and she has written these love letters to all the boys that she has had a crush on ever since she was 12 or 13 and she has them all in this box. What happens one day is all of those letters are stolen from that box and they are mailed to each and every one of the boys whom she has written them to. Lara Jean has to deal with the consequences after the boys have read them. It is a very fun filled series if you ask me. The writing of the author is just awesome and it is perfect for the kind of story that she narrates. I am sure if you end up reading the first book you will want to continue on with the series yourself and if you end up finishing the series there are also Netflix adaptations for all the three books. If you are a person who likes to read the books then watch the movie also. This series will be a treat for you. The next one is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This is another adult contemporary romance and here we follow our two main characters Alex and Henry. Alex is the son of the first female president of America and Henry is a prince of England. Both of them fall in love with each other because of various things that happen towards the first 100 pages of the book and they have to keep this love a secret because once this love is exposed they will have to deal with all the repercussions that come along with it. I am recommending this book in specific because it is a very spicy romance so if you are a person who does not like that kind of romance this will not be a great pick for you but if you do like that kind of romance this will be a great pick because it is not just steamy but also super funny in every sense if you ask me. The backstories of the characters are not given that great an importance but we do get a significant amount of their backstories also. More than anything I am sure that this book will be a great entertaining read so if you are a person who reads romance just for the sake of entertainment and the good vibes that it gives out this will be a great book for you so just try it out if you are interested. The next one is the only fantasy which I talked about in the beginning of the video. I am recommending this fantasy mainly because of the fact that I like the romance between the two main characters in this one. It is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is also another YA book but I can say that the world building in this book is the best which I have seen inside YA. The writing of the author is really really beautiful. Here we follow our main character. Laszlo Strange who is a librarian and he has been learning intensively about this lost city named Weep. There is this curse on the city because of which the original name of the city has been forgotten from everyone's memory and the only word that replaces the name of the city in each and every person's mind is Weep. When he gets there he gets in touch with this girl named Sarai in his dreams. It is an insta love but the way in which the author has written the relationship between these characters and the way in which they understand each other is really really nice. The writing of the author is one of the most beautiful writing styles that I have seen so far. 
each and every line is thought out and very beautifully written very beautifully written so please do give this a try the last book in this list is one of my all time favorite romances i'm sure many people who are watching this video might have read this book that's the reason i'm recommending it at last but if you have not yet tried reading this book please do give it a try because i'm sure that you will completely love it no matter what kind of romance reader you are and it is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ehun. I'm sure that this is one of those books which has made a benchmark inside the genre itself and it has multiple reasons to prove to be so. Here we follow our two main characters, Holly and Jerry, who are married. And in the beginning of the book itself, one of our main characters, Jerry, actually dies. And the female main character, Holly, has to deal with the grief that she is handling after his death. It is a really beautifully written tale. After a few days from Jerry's death, she receives this package which has a lot of envelopes. And within each and every envelope, there is this letter addressed to Holly from Jerry after his death asking her to do some things in order to make her life better. I can just keep on listing the reasons that you have to read this book but just trust me and go forward and pick this up. I'm sure you'll completely love it. It's technically an adult book because the two main characters whom we deal with here are adults but if you are like 14 and above I'm sure that you can read this. It does not have any kind of mature content at all. It is definitely one of the best books which I've read so far itself not just in romance. So if you've not read it until now please do read it. So yes guys those are the 10 romance books which I wanted to recommend to you guys in this video and if you did enjoy watching today's video and found it useful in some way or the other don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. If you want to get more content from me, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.